up, guys, and welcome back to another edition of Two Down Sports Cards. Today we are at Orlando Sports Card South, and we are bringing you another edition of Card Shops Across America. All right, so let's go check it out. We are live inside Orlando Sports Cards South, and we just want to highlight the shop. Uh, so this shop advertised itself or talked about having 25 million cards inside the shop. It was highly organized. Uh, you can see all those team boxes on the left. There's one for every team and all of the major sports. It was super easy to look, look up any team and find any card. They also had several great football card displays, uh, and we were able to pick out several nice cards, which we'll show you later on in our video. from Florida and we are going to talk about some of the cards that we got at Orlando Sports Card South. Alright, before we do that, Max, what did you think of the uh, shop? I thought it was very good. There was a ton of showcases and it was very organized into team boxes. Yeah, so it was, it was a great presentation. Uh, they had uh, um, showcases all down the, the length of the shop. Two or three dedicated to football, which was great for us. A lot of great stuff on display. And it was super organized a team box for every team and every professional sport that you could just pull out and go through uh, they had a you know a couple stands set up for you to do that they had uh, you know retail stuff down one side and hobby boxes down the uh, uh, side behind the counters uh, so great organization they they touted that they had 25 million cards for sale at this at the shop so a lot to go through we were only there for 35 minutes because we had to get to the airport uh, so not enough time to really go through yeah. all the team boxes. So we left a lot on the table there that we would have probably loved to add to the collection. Uh, but a fun shop. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, we're going to highlight some cards. So the first card we're going to highlight, we did pull out of the Cleveland Browns uh, team box, uh, was an Ozzy Newsome rookie. So um, they also had uh, a sale going on. So the sticker price right there is $12. They were basically 50% off every sticker price. Uh, in the shop. So we paid $6 for that. Actually a little less because they rounded down when we totaled up yep. uh, at the end. So adding an Ozzie Newsome rookie card, Browns legend. Uh, we've got his autograph helmet right there on display. Uh, we were happy to add that to the collection. Yep. Yep. Uh, what's next, Max? So the next one is this Denzel Ward orange prism. I liked it because um, I really like Denzel Ward and he's my favorite player. All right. And that one is numbered to 249 uh, on the back there. All right, and so nothing special there. That's like a $6 card yeah. uh, that we paid $3 for. Uh, just got a, a very simple uh, T-Law rookie card uh, from Chronicles. Uh, it's really, you know, like a $3 card that we paid two fifty four. so nothing special there, but always good to add T-Law to the collection. So the next one is this um, Joe Burrow, Miles Garrett Contenders. I like this because um, it's from the game where Miles Garrett had a pretty good game on Joe Burrow and sacked him a bunch. Yeah, so uh, the Browns do fairly well against the Bengals. Uh, we obviously got to get them for the division this year. That is an $8 card uh, when you look it up in Beckett, so it was a good card uh, for us to add. Yep. All right. Next card I have to highlight uh, is this Mike Evans uh, rookie card. This was just accidentally in the uh, Browns team box. The only box we got a chance to go through was the Browns one, uh, and it was just accidentally out there or in there, I should say. Uh, and since it was a rookie, I was kind of hoping it'd be worth you know more. We paid three dollars. It's really just a five dollar card, uh, but kind of a fun card with the the hologram in the background. So the next one is this Joe Burrow um, 2021 AFC title. I just like this because I think the background is pretty cool. Yep, so that's a green parallel. I kind of like, uh, you know, the tidal waves, like Max said. Uh, and despite him being on the Bengals, he is pretty collectible. Yep. So always good to add him. Uh, my next uh, group is a group of three cards. Nick Chubb is my favorite player. Uh, and so they had a couple Nick Chubb cards in the team box that were interesting. This Player of the Day card, which... You know, these are like Panini Instant or Panini Direct cards, and Beckett has it. I have a hard time looking these up in Beckett, so I don't really know uh, what it's worth. It's probably not worth all that much, but happy to add it to the collection. Uh, we've got this Nick Chubb uh, Spectra. Uh, I think it's numbered to 99 on the back there. Uh, so a numbered Nick Chubb is always good to add to our collection. And this uh, Emerald uh, Game Day Ticket is a fun card. Uh, you can see him. 
uh, going to the races against the Steelers there. Uh, and so happy to add that one to the collection. Yeah. So the next one, I have three, um, Justin Fields. I like this one because um, I like the rookie and how it changes colors. And then and then the next one is um, this prestige Justin Fields. I just like this because, yeah. It's in the um, Buckeyes uniform? Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing really special with these cards. They're probably each about $3.00. Um, you know, we probably paid a little too much uh, for this one. When I look it up, I just see it as like a $3 card. Uh, so, uh, probably paid a little bit too much there. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next one that I have to show is this Bryce Young Gunslingers and Bandits insert card from uh, Bowman University Best. Uh, and, and Max saw this in the showcase. And yeah. you just thought it was a fun-looking card, I think. Right? Yeah. And I, I have to say it is. Uh, I mean, it's it's obviously got, you know, the kind of like the gun smoke or whatever on the edges um, and the little hologram in the back. So just a super fun card uh, from Bowman's University Best. Um, we really don't, aren't totally sure how much this card is worth uh, when it's not in Beckett yet. Uh, and looking it up on eBay, it's selling for 5 to $15, depending on the day of the auction. Uh, we paid 10 for it, so probably... Right in that ballpark. Yeah, but then it was um, a week after the draft, so we yep. were more wanting to collect players from the draft. Yeah. So the next one is this um, Grant Delpit Auto rookie. I thought it was pretty good because I like contenders cards, and I think he's a pretty good player. Yeah, so great to add a Grant Delpit rookie yeah. auto into our collection uh, as Browns fans, and uh, we're looking for a strong season from him. Uh, he, he played fairly well last year, so hopefully in his uh, last year of his rookie deal, he has a big year yep. uh, and forces the Browns to sign him to a big contract. So we'll see. Yeah. All right, the last card that I have is a uh, Joe, Montano, Joe Montana Hollow Heroes card. So I have always liked these Hollow Heroes with the holograms in the background uh, from Illusions and have tried to buy them at a couple shows and just haven't been able to afford them. This one was $35. In Beckett, you look it up, it's a $200 card. Uh, obviously, things don't sell for what Beckett high side price is. Uh, when you look on eBay now, it is selling in like the $35 range. So we got a fair deal uh, for it, uh, spending $35 on this card. But happy and excited to add uh, a Hollow Heroes to our yeah. collection. Yes. All right, Max, do you have okay. the last card? Yep. So the last one is this Drake London um, Monumental Memorabilia. Um, it's 4 of 60, as you can see there. Um, it's a cool patch, and I just like the sparkle on the Spectra. Yeah, so this is a fun card to have uh, for sure. I like the Spectra cards. You like the Spectra cards. Uh, you can see a little bit of black and some stitching on the card, so it's, a, it's more than just a napkin patch. Yeah. Uh, you know, a fun card to have. We paid $15 for it. Look it up in Beckett, it's 25 I'm really not sure. You know, he was the first receiver draft drafted in the last year and had a pretty good year despite Atlanta not throwing the ball all that much. Yeah. He seems like he is undervalued, like compared to Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave and, yeah. and those guys. <laughs> uh, and so we'll see how he does this year. This is a fun card to add. All right, Max, that was the last card uh, to review from Orlando Sports Card South. Uh, what did you think of the shop? I thought it was really good. I didn't think we had enough time there, but if we did, we would have some pretty good cards in our collection. And you should definitely go there if you come to Orlando. Yeah, so if you're on vacation in Orlando, which is obviously a pretty popular spot with yeah. Disney World and Universal and beaches nearby, right? You know, and you're, uh, uh, you like collecting, Orlando Sports Card South is a great spot for you to stop in at. Yeah. All right, Max, what do you need to do? Please subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Alright, thanks for watching everybody.